Next, we've got this news, courtesy of Live Nation, or courtesy of CNET, exactly. Um, but obviously, regarding Live Nation, everybody online is coming themselves over this announcement, right? Everybody online I've seen so far is literally coming into their trousers. And most of it has to do with most of these accounts I follow being plants and agents of the fucking record industry and whatever. So this headline says, concert tickets to over 50,000 Sorry, to over 5,000 shows are up to 75% off for Live Nation's events, right? And basically, the premise of what I'm talking about is that Live Nation is running a special promo from the 8th to the 14th of May, where most tickets to most shows are going to be $25, right? A pretty crazy little deal. But I don't think this is something to get excited about or wank over. Number one, ticket prices for music, for live music shows, are exorbitant anyway. They shouldn't be as much as they are. Most tickets to live music shows, unless you're paying for like A-list people, like I saw videos of Madonna performing in fucking Brazil, where she's got legitimately over, I think it's over 100,000 people, maybe even more, maybe half a million on the fucking streets, in the, in the outdoor arena thing she's performing and singing every word. Those type of artists, they deserve every bit of money. If, if, they, if they're charging $100, $200, $500, they deserve it. Everybody else shouldn't be charging over $50 to go see them. You're not worth it. Nobody knows who you are. Like, relax, take it easy. Cool. They do that anyway. They all charge crazy amounts. It's fucking crazy. But if you get into the actual nitty gritty of it, none of that ticket money actually goes to the artists. So it's not like the artists are the ones that are trying to scam us fans. It's the fucking record labels who are in business with the venues who are also in business with the people that hold the rights to the fucking music themselves. So to make it worse, keep this in mind, right? So Live Nation are out here trying to act like they're the good guys. They're trying to act like they're saving the industry. But do you remember what happened last year? Just last year, do you remember this headline from fucking last year courtesy of the rolling stones club acts won't have to fork over merch money to live nation anymore live nation last year or maybe a few years before that was starting to cut into the merch money that artists were making when they were fucking going on tour because as some of you will know um digital streaming platforms like you know like fucking uh pod um apple sorry like spotify like apple music they don't pay that well so a lot of these artists don't make a lot of money off their music, which is already crazy, right? Imagine you're an artist. Imagine you dedicated your your life to making music, um, to connecting with your fan base, to telling your story, whatever it may be. And you can't make money from that. You make some, but not a lot. You make like half a penny, if that, on the streams. And, you know, it's fucking crazy. So most of the splits in terms of the money mostly go to the record label and whoever owns the rights or the publishing, whatever it may be, especially if you're having to pay a 360. Anyway. The only way for artists to make money was for them to do live show, which is why every artist you know, whether they're really small or really large, are always on the road, always touring, always going to perform places. Because that's the only way they can get a hold of money. That's the only way they can get money for their art. So in most places they go and tour, they get some money for the show, and they also make additional money by selling merch. Live Nation, these greedy cunts, some of these Live Nation, you know, Live Nation basically are in business with most record labels. The record labels already own the entirety of these artists and sometimes the rights to their likeness. If they pass away, they can use their voices to make more music via AI. All this nonsense, scammy shit, right? So they earn all that money off them. They put them in 360 deals. They don't give them the publishing. They don't give them their masters. And then Live Nation were going further to piss off and to fuck over the artists by taking their merch money so that any money they made via merch when they did their live shows they'll take a certain percentage i remember seeing a certain i don't know what band it was but a band basically complaining and saying that live nation were requesting over 75 percent of their earnings from merch imagine that you don't make enough money as a band anyway because everyone's fucking listening to hip-hop and shit you go out and tour the only way you can make a bit of extra money is to sell some merch. You sell a ton of it because your fans want to get it. You know, no one really likes buying merch online these days. You prefer to buy a live show. You buy it and the money doesn't even go to the fucking, you know, to the band. 75% of it goes to the label. 75% of it goes to fucking Live Nation. So the fact that they're acting as if they did something by giving people $25, you know, tickets from the 8th to the 14th, which is obviously a small window and only involves a certain amount of acts is nonsense. This should be the fee that most artists should be able to charge. Most of this shouldn't go to fucking Live Nation. It should go to the pocket of the artists themselves and then we can move on accordingly. But they don't deserve any ratings for doing the bare minimum. They don't deserve any ratings for doing the bare minimum and doing the right thing because they've been doing the wrong thing for so fucking long so fuck live nation fuck live nation